Hello inventors, this is Saurabh. In this video, we will create one simple Android app. Okay, and using this app, you can have a, some home remedies for COVID prevention. Okay, and all these home remedies from all over the world. So, how we can create that type of app? So, we can see that's the demo. Okay, so whenever someone open this app, so they can see the select home remedies home add button and you can see some symptoms of covid okay covid 19 most common symptoms so suppose let's click on select home remedies here and you will find here there's two for cough home remedies that work and for cold so i will click on that cold okay this one and you can see for cold and it's dehydrated water juice and there are a lot of things okay so you can read it now if you know some home remedies so what you can do you can submit your own home remedies so how you can do that so you can see in the add button click on this okay and i know that one home remedies like uh, hr home remedies uh third okay uh, i will put as a title and the description is something uh yes you can do and something like that and i will say just test okay test home remedies right so it means that's my title okay uh, for home remedies okay and my uh, description okay now we need to submit this and make sure this all this title and description can access anyone if someone have this app so anyone can access all these things because we are storing this data in the cloud db okay so let's go to the home and let's click on this home remedies this one and you will find hr3 right now click on this and you will see that title and that description okay it means we can have the home remedies from all over the world so click on a starting project and project name is covid hr2 okay so that's our first screen okay now we need your three layouts and first layout is i'm going to make it vertical arrangement this one and make this layout as fill parent and with this fill parent both okay and then i'm going to change that background color okay and what i'm doing here i'm going to use color hunt to pick a color okay color hunt and you can use lot more things okay so that color plate which one that i'm going to use here this color plate yesterday i have used okay so for background color, I'm going to use this one. Uh, custom color, I'm going to make it this one. And uh, I need here one, use, click on its interface. I need here one list view. Okay, no, sorry, not list view. I need here one list picker. Okay, so this one, list picker, because we have to select home remedies. And I have to display that home remedies in this level here. Okay, and then I need two buttons here to go to home and to add the uh, home remedies okay so how we can do that let's click on the layout okay and that's the layout horizontal like this one and uh, i'm going to make it this one should be here okay out of that layout out of this layout and make it with this fill parent and you can make this height is around 15 percent like this and change that background color also to similar color like this and now uh, we can have one more layer of vertical arrangement but before this uh, let's design this button so i'm going to make it this width is 90 percent this list picker and that list picker click on vertical arrangement and make it horizontal should be center like this click on this uh, list picker and change that uh, title to something like uh, select home remedies hr okay home remedies hr and i'm going to change that background color so background color i'm going to use your this one for that okay and uh, let's select that custom and then select paste it done this and make it uh, by a text color it should be white i'm to make it white okay now this is the text color sorry this is the text color this one this should be white and make it font bold and make it at least 18 okay now click on this uh, text box uh, oh, sorry text label and make this color should be white so it will be visible and make it at least 16 
okay so here in the default i will display nothing or you can say i can have some covid prevention tips okay covid uh, oh, and you can say covid uh, uh, symptoms okay you can have anything here in the home page so i'm going to copy page from here and i'm going to paste it here like this okay and make sure this width should be a uh, fill parent so this will look like this cool and you can do one more thing with you can make it 90 percent like this so this will look like this right cool now i need two buttons here click on user interface and drag and drop one button so change that background color and i'm to use that background color from color hunt to make this one okay so let's try this color this one done this and change the text to you can say home like this okay and you can have this with is at least uh 35 percent around okay and uh, font make it bold and at least 16 font size is fine now click on this horizontal arrangement and make it in a center and this align should be in a center copy and paste this button and change that text to add okay like this now we have two buttons that the select list picker and we have one normal text okay so whenever someone select some remedy so this uh, remedy's title will display here and the description will display here okay now we need here another screen to add the home remedies so what i will do here i'm going to copy and uh, or you can see i'm just uh, visible of make it okay and drag and drop your one more layout again vertical arrangement this one like this and make it with this fill parent and hide this fill parent like that and then we need to change that background color also so i'm going to use your color on to make this background color like this and change this custom color to like this okay and uh, we need here two things so three things first one is the text box to uh, enter the title of home remedies and second one is another text box for description so i'm going to make this is multi-line and make it with is or i can say hide is at least uh 70 percent or 60 percent around yeah and make this with is 90 percent cool and click on vertical arrangement and make it in a center make this one a line should be in a center this one should be with is again 90 percent like this and what you can do you can see hint text you can say just title here okay change this one title title hr it means title home remedy and you can see description like this okay now we need here one more button so i'm going to copy and paste that button and here and change that name to say submit okay so whenever someone want to add some remedies so they need to put title description and then click on submit button like here okay now that's cool now that's the overall and now that's the overall design okay now let's do code for that so we need anything else here nothing now uh, we need one thing here yes we need your database okay click on storage and you will see cloud db you can use firebase you can use standard db you can use anything but no no uh, not tiny db you can uh, you should use cloud db okay or you can use firebase also because we have to store that data in the server okay it means anyone can access our home remedies from anywhere okay so let's uh, make it uh, hide first this one should be hide and make this one word arrangement should be visible okay now whenever someone open our app okay so uh, we have to create we have to get and we have to fetch the data okay so we will focus on uh, something that that uh, basic things like whenever someone click on this add button so we have to hide this screen and we have to display another screen okay so go to the blog and make sure check that button name is button 2 so go to the blog click on button 2 that one so whenever someone click on it so we have to disable this one visible should be uh, disable false okay and then vertical arrangement 2 should be enabled okay this one should be enabled sorry true make it true okay and this should be 2 
right now whenever someone click on home button it means button one button so i just copy paste from here and change that button name here and make it visible one should be true and the two should be false right now both button are working now whenever someone click on submit button it means our third button uh, it means this one button three so we have to add that title as a tag and description should be value okay so click on cloud db and you will find here the store value this one okay so which tag we have to store we have to store the tag of that one which one click on uh, text box for this one text box one dot text that one is our title and the value we have to store is from text box two dot text right now that we have stored but uh, we need here one more thing we have to uh, we have to make it as uh, you can say blank okay whenever someone add that value they don't, they don't need to uh, remove that value from a uh, manual so we will make it this one blank and uh, this one again blank okay cool now uh, this is fine now what we can do here uh, one more thing that how we can get all this title and uh, everything in this uh, in this list okay in this list so how we can do that so whenever someone submit the app submit the value it means whenever someone uh, that cloud db got the value so whenever the we got the value okay so we have to refresh this and we have to add all items in the list okay and we have to call this functionality in whenever someone open our app also so whenever someone click on button 3 so we need here uh, again we have to call get list tag list here this one okay now whenever we get tag list it means okay remove this remove this i think for right now okay so whenever we uh, whenever we get tag list okay it means this one will call when tag list uh, this one this one block will call then we have to fetch the all values okay so for that what we can do here um, we have to use here for each loop okay so click on control and you will find your for each loop okay and the list now we need to create a list okay so what is the list so let's create the first simple list and I will explain you how why we are creating list so click on list and you can say names okay home enemies and uh, we will make this value as a empty list click on list and this one empty list okay now we have to get all the tag in the list okay so whenever we fetch the value so we need all all our tags in a list okay so for that for that what we will do we will get that value here okay and we need to add all these value one by one in our list okay that our list is empty now, right now so for that click on list and you will see the add item to the list this one and in which list we have to add item in this name and which item we have to add this one item like this okay now now what we can do here we need here simple thing we have to add all these item in our list picker okay so click on this list picker option this one and you will find your set list picker dot elements this one okay and after adding all this thing we have to get that name it means that list okay now whenever someone click on this select list it means uh, whenever someone click on this list so they will get all the tax value but whenever someone select that particular uh, home redemies so they have to, uh, we have to display that description of that tag here okay so how we can do that so you'll find click on list picker and you will find here after selection after picking after picking sorry after picking okay so after picking we have to call get value okay so you will find cloud db and you can see here get value and which tag we have to get it means whenever someone select that list picker dot selection list picker dot selection is from your this one this one and if the value is not there then we will display nothing here but if the value is there okay if the value is there it means what uh, we will call here cloud dot got value this one okay 
this one because we are uh, calling here get value it means whenever we get the value then we whenever we got the value then we have to display tag and value somewhere so we will display list picker dot uh, you can say click on this list picker and we have to display list picker dot title you will find here in the text list picker dot text this one this one set list picker dot text it means that is the title okay and that should be a tag and then second will see the label label one dot text and you will find set label this one and that label value should from here like this right um, one more thing we can do okay because whenever we got the value whenever we store the value so we have to blank that uh, previous list okay otherwise this will store again or uh, this data so we have to create again empty list to here like this okay so whenever someone initialize this app it means whenever someone open our app it means our screen will initialize then we will call that uh, get list okay from cloud db tag list okay so we can have a more feature like uh, whenever someone submit the home remedy so we will not display in the select uh, list view directly we can have one separate admin panel okay and then whenever someone admin approve that uh, um, that home remedy then we will approve it there are a lot of uh, like uh, some some of my subscribers suggest me this suggestion and that is really awesome okay uh, and uh, we can have more features in this app but this video is going long i think and uh, if try to implement that admin panel uh, admin panel functionality and if you have some doubt you can ask me on comment and you can ask me on instagram also okay so i will try my best to help you okay so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye